Hello guys, well, welcome back to the second part of a rough guide to skew tees. But before we move on and start to plot on these graphs, we need to uh, understand the different states of the atmosphere. So I'm going to try and explain what they are and how rising air will interact with the environmental lapse rate. Okay, so on this graph, I'm going to attempt to show you where the ELR, this red line, the gradient and the angle that it pitches as it goes up with altitude will find itself in one of the five states. So the first state I'm going to talk about is absolutely unstable. Now this is where the air is cooling with altitude at more than one degree every hundred meters. And if you imagine that this is the ELR, the red line, we're going to talk about this later. Then the red line that I've just circled would be moving somewhere in this angle. So anywhere in there that's cooling at more than one degree every hundred meter uh, of altitude gained. The following state of the atmosphere is said to be unstable. And if it is unstable, if that red line, this ELR here, if it follows the DALR line here, it's said to be unstable. And that is cooling with altitude at one degree every hundred meters. Okay, and the next state of the atmosphere that we're gonna talk about is conditionally unstable. Now this is where the atmosphere with height is cooling at less than one degree every hundred meters, which is the DALR, yet it's cooling at more than 0 0.65 degrees centigrade for every 100 meters, which is of course the SALR. So when I draw that on this graph, there, and there, anywhere in there, if the angle of the ELR, the environmental lapse rate, fits somewhere between those two lines, it's said to be conditionally unstable. And now the next state of the atmosphere that we're interested in is stable. I'm going to draw it on here. Looks familiar. That's because it's the SALR, the saturated adiabatic lapse rate. And that is, of course, uh, 0 0.65 degrees centigrade for every 100 meters risen. And that is stable. And now we're going to move on to the final state of the atmosphere, which is, you've guessed it, it's absolutely stable. And that is when the air is cooling with altitude at less than 0 0.65 degrees centigrade for every 100 meters risen. So when I draw that on here, it's between the SALR and the isotherm. So you can also do that anywhere here. So also here is the SALR and here is the isotherm. Okay, so the angle is not always the same because it's not a linear uh, chart. Okay, so they're the five states of the atmosphere. Just to recap, number one is absolutely unstable, absolute instability. Number two is unstable. Number three is conditionally unstable. Number four is stable. And number five is absolutely stable. Now, there are two other um, states 
not so often, but uh, they are around. One of them is called isothermic, which means that there is no change in temperature with altitude. Let's call that six. And the other one, I think you've guessed it. If that's isothermic, this red line that I'm drawing, then anything inside here is said to be inverted. So that was the five states of the atmosphere. Um, I promise the next one's not going to be so heavy. I'm trying not to bog you down with too much theory, but you do need to have a uh, basic understanding of what the environmental lapse rate, um, what it's doing at different heights, because the atmosphere is rarely a perfect sandwich of instability low down and the right amount of stability up the top to make the day uh, long lasting um, for some lengthy cross country flights. Um, so hopefully you've understood what I've uh, tried to explain. And if not, then pop some questions in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. OK, and then hopefully the next one will be ready tomorrow. OK, so take care of your lockdown, guys. Stay healthier. Yeah?